Hello people, I'm Axolot, and today we're going to be looking at all the unused content of Portal 2. This video will be segmented into 6 parts. 1 f-stop, 2 models, 3 textures, 4 gameplay and story, 5 sound, and 6 miscellaneous. So f-stop was an early Portal 2 concept that didn't feature portals. It was still supposed to be called Portal 2, but didn't feature them. This was the other mechanic that, that could alter space. Not much is known from this period, apart from one video we're going to look at later. In Portal 2, you were supposed to play as a character named Mel. This character was later reused in a fan mod by Prism Game Studios called Portal Stories of Mel. Here are some of the screenshots from this period. So that was showing some of the uh, transforming environments that we were going to go for uh, in that iteration. Activated. Activated. Hello. You have been detained. In the relaxation vault. Nine. Zero. 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 Four. Zero. Oh. On to models. So in Portal 2 there are some unused models, surprisingly a little Half-Life 2 stuff, only some strings and models, but they they cleaned everything unlike Portal. There are two footballs that were supposed to be used in now cut football like minigame. There is also an unused dispenser of footballs. And there's also some more Half-Life 2 leftovers. There's a reflector cube that got added in the peer review DLC that teleports lasers from one cube to another. This is called the Schrodinger cube. There's also a hover turret that was supposed to be a core that would hang from the ceiling. In the final game, the model is missing. There's also a mannequin model left unused. This is from the f-stop era. Textures. So there are some unused textures still left unused in the game files. 
Let's go have a look at some of them. There is an unused camera texture sheet from the f-stop period. There's also a camera HUD icon found in the game files. Some unused content from PTI DLC. Only low resolution icons remain from those cut puzzle maker elements. There are two placeholder graphics that are only found in the PSC version of the game. Both say programmer art. There is an unused gel called Adhesion Gel. It allowed players to walk up on walls but ended up being cut because playtesters got motion sick. Here is a photo of the Adhesion Gel in game and the sign. There's also a cut reflection gel that could reflect lasers but it got replaced by a laser cube in the final game. There's also a bunch of unused posters from Old Aperture. There's also some unused Ratman graffiti. There's an unused chicken hut icon. On to gameplay and story. So now let's have a look at some of the gameplay, map and story related changes. Humanic diversity events were supposed to be included in the game and they were even showcased at E3 2010 but were cut for unknown reasons. Some models and particles still remain in the game files. There's even a video by Valve showcasing this feature. Let's have a look at the video. <laughs> So as you saw in the video, this gameplay feature would be pretty cool if it remained, but sadly it was cut. There was this cut part of the Neurotoxin Generator puzzle, where it ended up being cut because playtesters never looked up. So earlier in the video I talked about the cut football minigame. It was supposed to look like this. Players needed to solve goals with the help of the Aperture Science portaling device. Are you ready to start the procedure? Corrupted core, are you ready to start the procedure? Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Unless a stalemate associate is present and can press the stalemate resolution button. Press button to replace core. Stalemate button has been destroyed. 
transfer procedure cannot continue. Unless a stalemate associate can say the word yes. Stalemate associate, do you wish to start a transfer? Yes. Valve also had an idea to have a bunch of fake endings scattered around the game. One of those was located near the beginning of the game. The player could see a moon in the sky and if they shot a portal at it, the screen would fade to black and Exile Verify by National would play. Valve later cut the alternative endings because almost no one found them and they were running out of time. The moon alternative ending later evolved into the ending we all know today. Right after the multiplayer mode made a jump from competitive to cooperative, one of the early stories was that the co-op robots were discovering human artifacts, and one of this is a copy of a Garfield comic. So I mentioned adhesion gel in this video before, so let's have a look at how it would work in the game. There's a link to this map in the description. Also, this is how Reflection Gel was supposed to work. Pretty cool if I do so say myself. There was also another gun called the Paint Gun. Developers used this to test gels. This concept was reimagined into a Portal 2 mod in 2014 called Aperture Tag. On to sound. So now we're going to look at some of the cut music and voice lines that are still left in the game files. Before the announce, there were supposed to be pre-recorded messages of GLaDOS before she woke up. Command standing by in 3, 2, 1. You performed this test better than anyone on record. This is a pre-recorded message. Due to events beyond our control, some testing environments may contain flood damage or ongoing tribal warfare resulting from the collapse of civilization. If groups of hunter-gatherers appear to have made this or any test chamber their home, do not agitate them. Test through them. In the event that the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which erases most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have erased the ear tubes inside your head. Because this message is pre-recorded, the Enrichment Center has no way of knowing if whatever government remains offers any sort of cattle tuberculosis testing credit for taxes. In the event that it does, this next test involves exposure to cattle tuberculosis. Good luck. Very impressive. Because this message is pre-recorded, any comments we may make about your success are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Congratulations. This pre-recorded congratulations assumes you have mastered the principles of portal momentum. If you have, in fact, not... You are encouraged to take a moment to reflect on your failure before proceeding into the next chamber. In order to ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Excellent. The Enrichment Center reminds you that bold, persistent experimentation is the hallmark of good science. Well done. In the event that oxygen is no longer available in the Enrichment Center, an auxiliary air supply will be provided to you by an Aperture Science Test Associate, if one exists. There's also a cut PD song that never gets selected when you're playing a community map. <laughs>
Now this song was supposed to play right after the second jump, trying to say Apple. There was a part of Self Esteem Fund found in the game files with a weird electrical spark sound effect at the end. Here's some cut audio of Carolyn getting turned into an AI. Sir! Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, I don't want this. I don't want this. No, listen to me. Sir, I do not want this. So, as I mentioned earlier about the Garfield comic strip, there are two voice lines left over for the comic. Good, you made it to one of the human habitats. We're looking for an artifact. Think of it as an archaeological dig. Their laughter centered around one of the objects in this room. That's it. Scan it for me. So, this cat loves lasagna so much that he eats all of the lasagna in his house. Oh, apparently it's not the cat's house or his lasagna. Oh, good. The man who owns the lasagna is furious. The end. The end? That's not funny. Do either of you feel like laughing? All right, I'm pulling you out. Welcome back. While you were dead, I reworked the cartoon. It's up on the screen. As you can see, in my version, the man points out to the cat that the house is equipped with deadly neurotoxin dispensers, at which point the cat reflects on the time he ate all of the man's lasagna and feels remorse. Briefly. Reactions? Yes. It's funny because most of it actually happened. Do you feel more human? Well, let's do some tests and see what happens. Okay, on to miscellaneous. So the final category of the video featuring content that cannot be put into some of the others. The first one we have is a development PD map found in the game files. If it's pasted back into the correct directory, it has no name. Since October 31st, 2018, there's a hidden pirate speak language in the game files. If re-enabled, it appears incomplete. There are no captions, but this can be fixed because uncompiled uncomp caption files are still in the game. Every map has its own challenge mode name, even ones that don't appear in the challenge mode. Every non-challenge map even tracks stats and compares it with others. I posted a link to an editor challenge map list.txt along with instructions on how to install it so you can see all the maps in challenge mode for yourself. Here's the Xbox 360 and PS3 startup videos in the game files. They look identical with only slight difference in text and length.
supposedly reconstruction science was supposed to play after the credits. There's a folder that contains almost all of the maps that were ever made for Portal 2, even the cut ones. I will look and show you some of the interesting ones, but you can look at this file yourself. It's located in Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Portal 2, Portal 2, Realists. The maps aren't playable and only contain some of the texture and sound information. Looks like there were supposed to be 9 intro maps instead of 7. There are also a lot of press demo maps that were given out to the press before the game was released. There's a reference to a chicken somehow being a puzzle element. Maybe that's related to the chicken from earlier. Some map names are indicating that there was a demo planned for Portal 2, maybe similar to Half-Life. There are even some E3 map names used in the E3 demo 2010. There is also this map that has an interesting backstory, quote, from the final hours of Portal 2. In one sequence that didn't make the final game, players would arrive at the start of a new puzzle and see a candlelit roast beef dinner sitting on a table, prepared by GLaDOS. Coming closer, you realise the roast beef is ice cold. Then you hear GLaDOS chastising you for missing dinner because you are too busy cheating on her with her personality sphere. Really upset that didn't make it into the final game. There are also some maps referring to the adhesion gel. Some f-stop map names. There's a reference to 3D backgrounds, same as Half-Life 2 and Portal 1. They were replaced by dot big videos in the final game. Surprisingly, there are more cut caught maps than single player ones. And also, maps haven't always followed the same CPA format. It appears that the act numbers were introduced later in development. There is this one second long .bec file called Valve Portal 2 FP. It's just a weird green screen. The big catch was a happy little accident. The model was accidentally built five times too large, but the team liked it, and they even joked that it should be a main point on the Portal 2 box. Features the biggest door in games ever. And they decided it would be funny if they placed a small door with a few props behind the big door, just to play with players' expectations. Here's some concept art of the hatch featuring four buttons instead of the final two. So we made it to the end of the portal video. I hope I haven't missed anything important. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It took quite a long time to do all the research and edit, so please comment, like, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Also feel free to check out my other content. This has been Axelot and Juko, and have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.